Hi, Tim Munger here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Atom on a Chromebook. Atom is a great text editor uh, built on Electron, and it's a very modern text editor. Let me show you the website. So you see atom.io is the website, um, and we're at version 1.5. 8.0. So if you want to develop on a Chromebook and you want to install Atom, this video will help you. All right, so I'm going to pull up the settings. And the first thing we have to do is install the Linux environment. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to click next. And it's going to give me a username. You can change your username. Uh, it's going to give you a recommended disk size. You can change that or change it later. Uh, I'm going to just accept what they give me and install. And I'll pause the video right now while it gives takes a few mo moments to install and I'll come back. Hi, I'm back and our Linux development environment has installed. What I usually like to do is upgrade, update and upgrade the system. So I'm just going to type in sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And it's going to run through and prompt me for a few things. I'm just going to say yes and yes. You can take a look at this and make your own decision on that. Um, and then I'll say yes again. It's going to take a few kilobytes extra space. No big deal. And it's going to go ahead and update. <clears throat> It'll take about a minute or two depending on your internet connection. Mine is actually kind of slow. We're almost there. And uh, once we install, we can uh, go about setting up Atom. OK, so we're all set with that. We can actually exit out of here for now. Uh, I'm going to pin this just because I use the terminal a fair amount. So I'm going to pin that. We'll exit out. And we'll bring up this web page, atom.io. Um, I have a Chromebook with an Intel uh, Pentium chip. Uh, it's an AMD Chromebook. I don't know that this works on uh, like MediaTek Chromebooks, so um, check beforehand if you this is the way you want to go. Um, I'm going to download the .dev file, so I click on that, and we get going here with the downloading of the .dev. Uh, you notice my internet is a little slow, so it's taking a little moment here to download. And we're all set. And it's going to click uh, show. I'm going to click show in folder. So we've got this file here, and I'm just going to right click and click install with Linux. I'm going to click install and OK. And it's going to go ahead and install. And this may take a moment. I'm going to pause the video and let it install here. OK, Adam has gone ahead and installed. It took about a minute. Uh, you'll see it's right here, but also you may find it in your Linux apps. Um, anyways, so I can click on this to open. I'm going to pin it to my taskbar because I'm going to be using it a fair amount. And it's going to go ahead and open. now. For reference, I'm running this on about a $200 Chromebook uh, that I got from Walmart. Um, it has four gigabytes of RAM, and it has a dual core uh, 1.1 gigahertz uh, processors that can boost up to 2.6, I believe. So it's an Acer 315 for reference. OK, uh, do we want to? Well, first thing, when you do it on a Chromebook, it does ask you for this key ring thing. So I just type in a password that I can remember. 
Um, and it'll only ask you that when you're starting up Linux for the first time. It's not a big deal. Anyway, so click continue. And then um, I don't want to show the welcome guide every time we start up. So I'm actually just going to close that out. Uh, I'm going to close that out. And I'm going to, um, you can choose to send your data or not. I'm going to just choose no. And um, one thing I like to do is control comma. And then I can install some packages. So I can install, not install, I can install a terminal emulator. And so it's going to go ahead and search. My internet is running slow. Um, the one I like is this IV terminal. At the time of this recording, I'm going to click install. And it's going to go in install that. And the cool thing about Atom, the setup now is I used to install Emmet, but it has Emmet, it seems to be built into this version. So uh, it does seem to run and it does some very nice auto completion. Um, so it helps to code up my, to speed up your coding a bit without kind of getting in the way. I, I really like this one. I really like Atom a lot. It's, uh, it's advanced, but at the same time, not too crazy. Um, some of the IDEs are just too much. It's too much for me. Anyways, that's my preference <clears throat> to each of their own, though. Okay, so now that's installed. Um, you can also install some themes. Let's do uh, material. And we'll uh, search in the themes for that. And I think, uh, let's see, I'm going to install Atom Material Syntax. So go ahead and install that. Okay. And um, all right, so we got we got a theme installed. That's pretty cool. Got a terminal installed. Let's go here. Let's uh, expand this to full screen. Uh, I can toggle the menu bar and see it says menu bar hidden to I press the alt key to get it back pretty cool all right let's add a folder um, and we'll go to the desktop we'll just make a folder uh, a test folder let's just call it test do okay go here I can highlight the folder and tap the a button that'll uh, prompt me to create a new file that's a really nice shortcut uh, and I'll say something like uh, test.py. Let's create a Python program here. And um, we'll have a function called uh, print something. And uh, basically, we'll just print something. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's my function. OK, cool. And let's, let's call the print uh, something function. Okay, uh, so I'm going to save that that amazing program right there, and uh, I'm going to do Control Shift T, open up my terminal, and now I'm going to type uh, Python three um, test.py, and you see it prints out something. So I've got Adam running. I, I like this terminal a lot. You can you know you can drag the mouse up and down, just size it however you want. Uh, Try that again. Maybe it's not working. Um, I know you can. Oh, wait. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you can drag it up and down there. I'll make it a little bit smaller, kind of like it like that. Uh, you can do a control forward slash. Uh, wait, when I'm in here, control forward slash that, you know, closes out the side view. But I, I kind of like it with the side view a little bit. Write some Python, write some PHP, JavaScript, C, C++, whatever you want. Uh, you know, you have these terminals down at the bottom. You can exit out of the terminal. Um, let's say I want to go here, click install, uh, material, let's do light. And uh, I want to go into themes rather. So uh, add a material syntax light. Uh, maybe this is it. Install this one. You know, you can always remove packages as well if you don't install the right one. 
And okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, close out my settings. And I, well, I can actually do control comma to get my settings back, go back to my themes. Uh, let's go, let's do a light theme. We'll do add a material light for a syntax theme. So that's kind of cool thing about Adam. You can do a syntax theme and then you can do your UI theme. And you'll see it changed there a little bit. Uh, we want to do Adam light. Let's match it up. Do light and light. Okay. And you'll see it changes a little bit. And we have this, uh, that's kind of very bright right now, but, um, you know, fool with that. Now I have material light. Maybe I want to, maybe I don't like material light. I'll go change my theme to one of the default themes. Let's just do uh, atom light. Okay. Do atom light. And oh, there you go. Oh, that's a little bit clear. That, that looks pretty nice to write some Python in. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go back to a dark theme, dark material. Maybe I'll do control dot comma. Go back to my themes. Uh, let's do just regular material and um, then let's also just do uh, one dark, okay? And change the UI theme and the syntax theme. It's going to take a moment, especially because I'm recording some stuff. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet theme. Uh, anyway, so you can play with it a bunch. There's a bunch of packages. Uh, you can set up a nice integrated development environment. It does run very nicely on a just $200 Chromebook. Uh, so you don't really need to run it on some heavy system, especially if you don't have a lot of plugins. The more plugins you put into like Atom and VS Code, uh, that will slow it down. Um, but a great text editor by GitHub. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And I hope to see you in the next one. And thanks for watching.